how to stop your dog from shedding. Guaranteed solutions here today, guys. We start by thoroughly rinsing our dog. Then we're gonna shampoo them up. You wanna bring that coat to a very rich lather. De-shedding certainly begins with the bath. Remember, we're trying to clean that coat from the skin out, starting from the skin all the way through the coat. And this is where that Zoom Groom tub brush really comes in handy, guys. You can see how it aids in lathering up your dog and removing dead coat at the same time. I have added links to all the products that we're demoing today, guys, so that if you're interested in purchasing them, I've already shopped around and if you click from the link below in my description you actually support my channel and I appreciate that but you also know I want you guys to have success at home or if you're a professional so now while our dog's coat has worked it's clean we still got that shampoo in we're gonna start raking the coat gently now remember when we use water on our dog's skin and coat it softens the skin so they are very delicate at this point you know it's just like if you soak in the tub your skin gets very soft so does theirs I don't want you to forget that and this is a tool I want to point out that in the tub we are using the largest blade undercoat rake this one is the 13 blade so it has a lot of space between the blades it's not pulling too hard but you can see it certainly is pulling coat out and that's what we want now it's time to thoroughly rinse your dog it's very important to thoroughly rinse we don't want to leave any residue behind in the coat trust me that's very important now we're gonna try out that absorber drying cloth. Remember I told you guys I've never used it before? I really like it, I do. I looked it up on Amazon, I found it's not too expensive and I think it's wonderful. But what I really like is you can just wring it out and get all the excess water out of it after you've toweled off your dog and throw it in the washing machine. You don't put it in the dryer. Now back to the undercoat rake. We're going back to that 13 blade that we used in the tub. Toby is now up on a table, we've toweled him off and we're gonna gently see if anything else would like to come out of the coat. Now we're gonna to switch to a 20 blade undercoat rake because Toby is a heavy shedder, like a lab. Now he is a labradoodle, but he's a heavy shedder, just like a lab. So we're gonna switch over to the 20 blade because I feel like it's gonna pull just a little bit more out, and it is. The 13 blade wasn't giving us much more, which is fine. But we just, we're going to try to get a little bit more, but we're, we're only asking the coat to release what it wants to. We're not forcing it out, guys. I want to emphasize that. Let the tool just drag the undercoat out. Don't force it out. And you don't want to go over the same spot over and over again. You can hurt the skin. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Because together... We are going to increase the bond you share with your pet and add even more value to their lives. The next step to successful de-shedding is definitely a force dryer. Drying the coat is very important. I know force dryers are something that is not a household name, but I gotta tell you, they're not that expensive and boy do they do. Yeah, some are better than others, I agree. Some may take longer to blow that coat out, but they will do it. They'll get the job done. Trust me guys, it is a crucial step in de-shedding. So we're all done with Toby. He's dry, force dried, brushed out again. We went through him one more time, slightly with the with the coat king. And what do you think? I mean, because you wash this dog yeah. all the time. I think it works really well. Normally there's like a lot of bumps, which is like the hair sticking up. Mm -hmm. but like now it's so much flatter and smoother. And it doesn't like, normally when you touch him, like it gathers so much hair like at the butt. But now it's It not, just sheds on yeah, down his body. Now it's, he's a lot better. So you're, you're noticing that his coat lays flatter because yes. we've gotten rid of a lot of the undercoat. Yes. Yeah. And it seemed to want to come out rather easily, wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? It's very easy. My favorite it's product nice. is for especially a beautiful shiny sheeny coat like this is the Nature's Specialty Silken Finish. A light mist and run it down his body. And, just, and it just makes him look like a mirror. So shiny. Yes. Oh, you like that. Yeah, you look so shiny. I am certified pet professional Amy Lee. The only difference between you and your groomer is knowledge, technique, and tools. It is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry. So stay put as we get started on this journey together today.